Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video. And you know, before I start, I just want to congratulate one of my students who passed the evaluation phase of a prop firm. Um, I posted what he had to say in the text below this video or in the email that you received. Okay, so yeah, just very nice to see that happen. Okay, so for this week's video, I have something a little different. It's about avoiding a trade at times, even though, even though it's a good technical setup. And I hope that uh, this video gives you a bit of a glimpse into how you can use other factors like correlations and general market environmental conditions to help you with trading decisions. Okay, I hope you like this change up in the content for this week and that it's helpful. And if you do like it, if you could give it a thumbs up, I would be so grateful uh, as it helps our YouTube algorithm and gets the message to more people and so on. And of course, please feel free to subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the lower right corner of the video. Okay, so here's the video. And just so you know, it's the actual video that I posted for our paying members. Hey folks, um, I just want to go over a trade that I did not take and it's on the CAD yen pair and it's actually set up right now to take the trade, but I'm not going to take it. And I want to run through my reasons why. And this is one of the parts of trading that uh, comes with experience and, and this may or may not you know, it may or may not turn out that it was a good decision. I don't know. I mean, obviously I won't lose anything because I'm not taking a trade, but I want to show you the reasoning behind this. This is on the CAD yen. And if you look at the weekly chart, uh, we've come up to this level, which is from way back here in uh, 2014. Uh, we've hit it a few times, uh, once, twice, three, four times, and it's now closing above that level. Okay. That is, is uh and and it could come down that week's not over yet but it, it it just together with the other things i'm going to show you make me shy away from this trade so and it's in a big big uptrend obviously so selling is very very um not undesirable let's say okay so let's go down to the daily chart and the daily chart you could have said well we hit this level and we hit it once we hit it twice and a pin bar reversal right so you can sell that. Well, this is also in a very, very big uptrend. Corrects some chopping around and it's heading back up that way again. And so you're, you're fighting the trend on this one as well. Okay, so that's, that's a couple things that, that are warning signs. Now, the other thing is this. This is a Canadian dollar pair. This is the Canadian dollar going up against the yen going down. That's the way it's going, okay? I need it to go the other way if I'm going to short it. I want the Canadian dollar to go down. Well, if I look at other, and this gets into correlations a bit. If I look at other uh, currencies that are paired with the Canadian dollar, like let's look at the uh, pound CAD. I was looking at it a second ago here. And the, and the pound CAD is, uh, let me get my different time frame on here. We're not near any support, which means that it's probably going to keep going down and the CAD's probably going to keep going up. Right? We're, I mean, if you look at the daily chart on it, we've hit this resistance and it's going down, meaning the CAD's going to probably keep going up. So that CAD yen likely is going to keep going up. May not, but who knows? How about the US CAD? That's always a good one to look at. Do you think it's finished going down yet? I don't think so. Uh, you look at this, these red candles on the upper right hand, this is the daily chart. We don't even have support till down here. We haven't made that yet. So to me, you know, the U.S. is going down against the CAD going up, right? That's what this means. The U.S. is going down, and which means the CAD's going up. So the CAD yen, uh, to me, is, is just not a trade I want to take. So far, it's proven to be a good decision. We'll see what happens. I mean, my entry on it would be on an hourly chart, uh, which is um, this high to this low. And... Um, you know, you could put the, all your fibs in there and everything. It doesn't matter. I, I don't want to take the trade. And I, I I suspect, given all the other things I just showed you, and and especially going counter trend, this is probably going to take out these highs, okay? So uh, let's just see what happens with it. And uh, you can follow it along even after this recording is done and, and see how that decision would have played out. And by the way, I want to add in something else here uh, that that's weighs into this on me as well. And that is that the stock market today is, is having a quite a good rally. This is the uh, S&P 500. You can see this daily candle here is very, very strong. Now, we are at resistance. Okay, we're at resistance at it right now, which has been supporting resistance. It's held pretty well. 
but we have a very strong bullish day going on with the stock market which normally uh, you'll see the dollar index falling off that's been the correlation you say here's the dollar index look at it dropping 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 so with it dropping and uh, not yet at any kind of support which is I'm seeing down here resistance becomes support uh, again that makes me think that the US dollar is going to keep dropping and remember that US CAD that we looked at the US CAD still dropping really quite hard it means the Canadian dollar is still rallying and our CAD yen is you know going the other way okay so I just wanted to add that in okay uh, let's wrap this up you know I, my alert just went off folks and um, just to show you what happened and is that we that would have been stopped out that position and you know, listen, I know that, you know, we, we kind of look for uh, technical reasons to do everything, which is fine. Uh, but you have to put things in context, too. And, and that takes a bit of time, you know, no, no question about it. But <clears throat> with a bit of basic, uh, you know, information, for example, I mean, just the very fact that this trend is solidly up should make you definitely cautious. Um, but, uh, you know, also when you start to, um, you know, and, and this is kind of a hard part of trading, but just getting a bit of a feel for what's going on and, and understanding that, hey, you know, we, there's, there's so much room to go for this to go up. It's, it's just a greater probability that it's going to go up than, than going down. And uh, I, I just hope that this has helped a bit. I don't want to confuse you and overwhelm you with a whole bunch of things to think about. No, that's not the idea of it. Just to, um, you know, help you along with your journey and, and let you see that there are sometimes... Um, mitigating factors that can help you avoid taking on a, a trade uh, that might otherwise be looking very good technically but because of the other underlying factors the correlations and that kind of thing that it can just make you cautious and, and want to stand aside in a trade like this the safer strategy would have been to wait you see this pin bar reversal on the daily chart uh, just wait and see what happens for a short-term trading that is uh, just wait and see what happens when price gets up to this level. Uh, how does it react? What's the is there is there a pattern that sets up to sell so you can get a little bit of extra confirmation? All right. I uh, hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. So there you go. Um, and just so you know, I post videos quite regularly for our members in order to provide them information like this, or more commonly to constantly show them setups. You know, as Tony Robbins says, repetition is the mother of skill. The more you see these setups the more embedded into your mind that they become. And you can start to recognize them very easily in just a matter of seconds. So thank you so much for listening in, folks. I really do appreciate it. And I wish you all a great weekend and trading week ahead. All the best. Take care.